What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 in the Pirate playthrough. Now this should be my last Chaos 7 map. As you see here, I am at uh, 5289 champion score. I only need to get to 5300. Of course, I could easily just upgrade a piece and get that extra points to make it through. However, I'm trying to do that as little as possible. I personally would rather use materials to kind of speed the ride through a tier than use the materials just to straight up uh, end a tier as, you know, I mean, to each their own, but it just feels like you miss a little bit of value out of it as when I go up again, I'm going to be going right to Chaos 7 and Chaos 7 gear. Anyway, here we are in the Crumble Bulwark. Let's get this rolling. Still haven't found anything exceptional. Uh, I'm riding on this relic that I upgraded. As you see, of course, that's taken all the way up to uh, Max Chaos 6 now. And then, of course, I got that Destruction Shard out of that Shard Pack. No other shards yet. And this particular map, Flyers are going to be a bit of a problem. There is no doubt at all. Uh, nothing on my Lightning Strike Rs either. And I'm going to be going with those. And then, still rocking the same totem just because of that accumulator servo really on the spike blockades with an unupgraded panic fire and explosive guard so let's see let's wall it right over here remember it's chaos six so it's all about hex throwers you want to put your walls in areas where hex throwers are not going to have line of sight as they do have that ridiculous range now here it's going to be a little sketchy are they going to be able to hit it from the corner I think over on this side we're good, so I won't have any issues there. And then the wall back on the stairs here is about the farthest you can go on this lane. Uh, however, hex throwers are going to throw at it, there's no doubt at all. Uh, probably from right around here. And then down below here, down below what do we want to do? The obvious choice is to just go around the corner here. If we ran or went around the corner, then the hex throwers are going to have to go all the way through a little gauntlet there. Tell you what, why don't we go? Why don't we go right about like that? Nothing can make it through the middle, and then we're going to rely pretty heavily on those upgraded uh, flame auras as having the one destruction shard. That's where it's at, so that's where I've got to use it. So as you see, I've got 750 DU left. That's going to be 250 per lane, and that is straight up 8 Flame Auras is going to be 240 per lane, and it will allow me one additional. So let's go, uh, let's just string the 8 right down across. There's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So now these bads are going to start taking damage right here. There's no doubt Hex Throwers will have to be in inside of the Auras to be able to reach these walls to throw at them. Now on this particular lane, we might be able to get away with using less than eight. In fact, let's go two like that. And we'll go three, four, five, six, and seven. And that leaves straight up 300 DU here. Now I did forget one important thing. I forgot the anti-air. And anti-air is actually going to be quite a problem on this map, as i not having any shards for my sky guards. It's just going to be ugly. So I'm going to go right here and right here, and that leaves me 200, which is six R's now. So I'm going to have to trim the fat on one of these other lanes here. Let's throw some upgrades in there. Let's see what we do. It's like the mid-tier ones we can get away with getting rid of. Let's get rid of this one and say that one, and that leaves three out front, and then three up close to the wall. And that leaves me 260, which is back to that eight R's with 20 left over. So let's go ahead and do it up like that, and we're gonna use that 20 right here at the wall with an LSA. R spam for the win. R's are just really, really effective um, when used properly, of course. If uh, you're throwing your R's with no mods or nothing to help you out into a cyborg lane, you're going to have problems. However, in this situation, we've got lots of room to spread them out, and it makes things very, very nice. 
All right, now let's hope for the best here and see how this goes. Um, having the destruction has made a massive difference, no doubt about it. However, I do still expect these walls to get pushed and thrown at quite a bit, so I'm going to want to gather some mana as soon as possible. I've got a really mixed set of hero gear on right now, which is a problem. Uh, as you see, my 55,000 health, that is definitely into an uncomfortable spot as far as assassins go. However, I did get finally a bit of luck in this playthrough, besides that Deadly Strike shirt, of course. And my bit of luck was I finally was able to upgrade my little kitty cat, and my cat has Sparkle Party on it. Now, Sparkle Party, of course, is not something most people are using in-game. However, if you're uncomfortable with assassins, Sparkle Party can be extremely helpful. And there is no doubt at all that I am very uncomfortable with assassins at my current health pool. So, only gonna help. The main thing is I didn't have to reroll the cat. I got lucky right out of the gates and got a usable ability. Um, pretty much no matter anything that I would have gotten that would have been a usable skill or something that's helpful and I wouldn't have uh, bothered with any rerolls or anything like that. Now I placed that Sky Guard like the Sky Guard had decent range, and of course the Sky Guard doesn't have very good range since I don't have any shards, mods, or anything else on it. Gonna have to just put a ton into these flyers here for sure. However, it didn't go too bad. Let's get uh, one more upgrade on each of these Sky Guards. I'll tell you, I really want to avoid coming down here. So let's get these up front auras upgraded. And I believe now with that destruction shard, those up front auras are going to be burning quite a bit. And having that melee boom on it, even though it's not a very good melee boom mod, it's still going to be getting lots of boom procs. Let's see, now let's upgrade this all the way across here. Something like that should work out. And then we'll go... Let's see, I already got those three. Let's go... Let's just save it. That's probably the best idea. Because at some point here, we're going to have to start doing some wall repairs. Had a pretty smooth wave one, though. Destruction makes all the difference. One of the most... Most used and certainly most powerful shards in the game. It's almost worth not torturing yourself like I did and just farming Chaos 1 until you get a destruction because the rest of your journey is going to be just so, so much smooth, smoother as long as you have that destruction shard. Tell you what, let's go ahead and throw it all right there into an upgrade on that one. Grab this mana here for the repairs. The boom servo helps out quite a bit, but remember, the boom is not going to go off unless that defense is getting kills. So, although awesome to have super, super early, if you don't have the basic shards like destruction, you're not going to be getting a lot of kills and boom is not going to go off. But I'm basically relying, using flame bars like this is not just pure laziness as it might appear. <laughs> That's obviously what's my best item. I've got one destruction shard, so it's better for me to focus on one main defense, really. So I'm going to put it on Flame Rs, as they are just the most usable in Chaos 6 and in Chaos 7. Get a stun on Malthus here. And there we go. Good game. Unique Power Servo. You know what? That right there is a Skyguard upgrade waiting to happen, I believe. Let's get that bad boy. Let's check it out here. It's actually not as good in main stat. Oh, and it's, this one's got diverse and unique, which unique on Skyguards, of course, with no range, I'm not getting the advantage of. I feel like even with the lower 
defense power, that defense rate servo may make big enough difference. There's a nice item. Why on earth am I not using that? Hmm, well, I don't have enough lightning strike arrows down to worry about it. That is a good melee boom, though. I'll uh, definitely be careful not to upgrade that one, and that one will uh, probably get sold after this playthrough is done. Let's see, let's get everything else up to tier 2. And now we're in the wonderful position about being able to add upgrades just for straight up raw power, and not so much sur from survival. Now, like I said, that destruction shard has just made all the difference in the world. It is just a huge, huge shard in the game. Uh, if you're a brand new player and you're struggling at all and you do not have destruction, go back to Chaos 1. Just farm it out in Chaos 1 and it is going to be completely game changing for you. Go ahead and get it rolling again. There actually may be... I may have gotten enough loot for an upgrade right there. With such a small amount that I needed to go to get Chaos 7 unlocked, completing this map isn't a necessity. Just getting one or two more pieces of gear. Now through Chaos 6, it was quite the grind, there's no doubt about it. I lost, I want to say two, I lost three matches total in Chaos 6, so I lost two more after my first attempt video, and then I started winning right after that, and it took, I want to say, seven or eight wins, plus the losses, to get to the point where I am now. Get a little sparkle party in our life, very nice. See, if I would have upgraded that Sparkle Party in Chaos 5, Chaos 5 would have been a completely different experience for me as well. Uh-oh. Wrecked. Should have plenty of time to get this roller down there now that all the mobs are gone. Now, is Quibbly up there... He's putting a hurting on that wall. We can see that. Actually, that wall's going red. I gotta get up top. Ignore the roller for a minute. And get old quibs down. Alright, blockade down. I'm in trouble. Luckily, he's low enough where it's not an issue. Oh, jeez. Wrecked again. The downside of uh, having no hero health, really. I just get steamrolled by everything. No pun intended. Siege rolled, steam rolled. <laughs> dead is dead. Alright, there we go. A little late on the Firebird. What do we got there? Nothing spectacular. I do like the shot type on this. Even though the spread is so wide, it's very difficult to get any actual single target damage. Because just all the projectiles are not hitting the, hitting the enemies. Got a few more choices here. There's a controller chip on that one. And a scatter shot there. I'm just scatter shot is really effective if you enjoy that playstyle, but I just don't like that particular shot type personally. Um, in most hero damage builds on the Huntress, the scatter shot will get you the highest DPS, but you just have to be really really close to the enemies. I guess the same can be said about this weapon here with the widespread, but this one at least has some viability far away where the scatter shot just won't even hit the mobs at all. Alright, let me get a repair going down here. We're looking good there. And I believe things, other than bosses, things should get a little easier here now, as we got enough upgrades in place where the booms are just propping procking and popping off like crazy. Maybe just keep an eye on these flyers. Now here come the kobolds. These are the flyers that are going to be a challenge for me. As they're going to aggro before 
my sky guard can hit him. The slow moving flyers are not as big of a deal when with inferior sky guards, but boy, those kobolds, they will blow you right up. And the sparkle party to the face. Assassins, farewell. Uh -uh, now my sparkle party is gone. <laughs> And just not enough health to ride through this guy. We got another Quibs. He's down below this time. He's parked right on top of that Aura, which is a plus. He's thrown at that one. Got the free Sparkle Party back, at least, from the, from the Revive. Take care of that last assassin, and it's a good game. Wave 5. 300 mobs in wave 5. 800 mana left to spend. I think I'm just going to throw it right into boss lane upgrades. And I think this one down below would be the one to do it on, because the roller is not going to get killed by these Zara's no matter what. Let's just let's take the front two all the way up. That should help out quite a bit. Uh, of course, the Cannon Ogre is going to... I don't think he's going to one-shot these walls, but he's going to put a hurting on them for sure. And then we got the Hex Thrower boss and Slakelion. Let's get Slakelion burned down first. There we go. And then we'll head on down here. Good old Sniper Warbleed. Very nice. All right, throw one more repair on that wall. And then just try to ride it out here until we get another boss. I'm going to keep an eye out for yellow flyers on the minimap. As the yellow flyers are the kobolds, of course, and they're going to come make my life miserable if I'm not paying attention. Wow, I just could not get that guy killed. See if we can get the boss as well. Very nice. Got a free stun there with our sparkle party on the boss. And the face roll, but he has taken a ton of damage. So he's just gonna die, I think. Nice. Okay, spike blockade down, but I'm not gonna have to worry about a bunch more mobs over on this side. It's all about that siege roller now. Let's do the same thing. See if we can't sparkle party the siege. Get uh, a little double duty on those assassins. Now I'm in a bit of trouble here. And there's flyers pushing in as well. Let's get these flyers real quick. Get one stun on Tuscar. Oh no! Let's see what we can do here. Ooh! Lucky crit. Luck is greater than all things, no doubt about it. So there we go. That should be my last match in Chaos 6. Let's take a look. I, I can't imagine not being able to get over the hump with such a small way to go to get Chaos 7 unlocked. Now, Chaos 7 should... Um, should not be terrible, really. I'm going to go with the Aura Focus again, uh, focusing mainly on those Flame Auras. Let's see what's in the box here. Maybe I'll just get an absolute gift and get a Defense Rate Shard to roll into Chaos 7 with. Wouldn't that be awesome? Man, that's a nice relic right there, too. That's going to go, I think, all my LSAs. All right, let's check it out. Let's check out the Shardage first. Quake is no good to me. Sharpen Spikes is, though. That's good stuff right there. That one actually will get an upgrade. Oh, man, I got 500 Defender Metals left. Let's upgrade it with gold and but get another Shard Pack with those guys. That is a huge find right there. Giving stun on my walls is just an absolute lifesaver. Anyway, let's see. 5,300. Oh, yeah, 5,349. We're well over the hump and headed off to Chaos 7 next. So that will do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. 
and I will be back soon with more Dungeon Defenders 2. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.